I have never had in the history of this country where tear gas is thrown into the church. Because a church is a place of worship. It's a place to be respected. But when a country or a security of a nation does that in the church, then what happens to Mwanainji out there? We want to ask the security of this nation that they have a responsibility to protect us, to protect the citizens, and to protect the whole nation so that peace can prevail. I mean, how else, how else can a small man be protected if the deputy president can be chased around and yet he's part of the security, he is the presidency. And normally, the presidency is actually the chair of the security of the nation. So that tells us the leadership is actually divided. And there is no way a nation can run without respect for each other. Because when we elected the president, we elected him with the deputy president. And so there should not be any separation. We gave them a term of five years and we expect that what the right hand knows, the left hand should know. What am I saying? The, the president and the deputy should work together in tandem. But the kind of advisory that our president is getting, we feel very saddened. We really feel saddened because uh, the deputy president has a right as a Kenyan citizen, let alone being the deputy president, of worship. I want to put it very categorically that uh, the NCIC are really misusing the authority that they have been mandated by the Constitution to protect lives and to protect people. The way they're handling security matters in this nation, they are going to draw this country into anarchy. They are going to put this country into the dogs because they are vested with the responsibility of protecting people, protecting lives. The other way, day when uh, the Muranga incident, we were very embarrassed to learn that actually the security team was supposed to look on the other side when what happened was happening. Two, I have never had in the history of this country where tear gas is thrown into the church. Because a church is a place of worship. It's a place to be respected. But when a country or a security of a nation